In today's video, we're gonna look at CloudFilt. So CloudFilt is a content delivery network and a web application firewall. So very similar to Cloudflare, uh, you could probably say it's a Cloudflare alternative. So they really focus on bot management and bot mitigation. So this is the primary selling point they're talking about in terms of where they differ from Cloudflare, especially on the free plan. Um, bot mitigation is a big part of Cloudflare. They really focus on preventing data scraping, malware, DDoS attacks, fake accounts, um, those kind of things that you don't really get on Cloudflare's free plan. So you get much better bot mitigation. And in terms of the pricing, they do have a free tier as well, which is cool. Um, don't have many requests per month, only 3000. So you could try it out, but you're not going to be able to run a serious website um, with only that many requests per month. You'd probably want to look at Pro, which is 29 a month. But at the moment, the thing I want to share with you guys was AppSumo has a lifetime deal, which gives you 500,000 requests per month, five websites you can use it on that. That's $59 for life. You can scale that as well if you want increased number of websites. So that's what I'm using today. I'm using this one and I'm going to test this out, compare it against Cloudflare's free plan and see if there's actually any serious benefit to using CloudField. First thing I'll compare is Cloudflare's pricing. So free plan, we're all um, pretty much familiar with that. I think on this channel, um, you guys have all used Cloudflare, I think. So free plan is $0 a month, obviously, but the bot protection you get is just for simple bots. So I think it mentions it there, bot mitigation, only for simple bots. And if you upgrade to pro or business, you get some easy to detect bots on pro and more sophisticated bot analysis. So I'm pretty sure Cloudfield is marketing itself more towards this end of the market and offering it as a more cost of effective solution. The other thing I wanted to see was the actual size of the network. Cloudflare's claim to having over uh, 340 points of presence. That's pretty similar to Cloudflare as well in terms of the actual size of the network across the world. And to test this out, I set up a basic WordPress website using a Cadence starter template, customized it a little bit and connected it up through Cloudflare and CloudFilt and ran some tests to see what the difference was. When testing something like a content delivery network, I think the time to first buy is probably the most useful metric to use. So uh, KeyCDN has a really quick way of checking time to first buy for any website. And it'll give you a bunch of different locations around the world. You can average that out and get a comparison. So that's exactly what I did. And pleasingly enough, I did find a moderate performance improvement using CloudFilt. So the time to first byte average across all those data centers, uh, 580 milliseconds versus 741 milliseconds for Cloudflare's free plan. So around 20% uh, performance improvement in this case, around uh, 100 milliseconds or 0.1 seconds. So um, yeah, a modest improvement. And the setup process itself was pretty painless. I can walk you through that right now just to show you what it's like. You just basically add a new website, put it in the URL, add it on there. They offer modules and plugins for most of your popular um, content management systems, in particular WordPress here. And it's just a, basically a case of choosing what kind of SSL certificate you've got. So um, a lot of us use a Let's Encrypt certificate, which you could paste in there. Alternatively, you can just let CloudFilt handle it itself as well and use CloudFilt SSL. Um, once you've set that up, you hit Save Changes. And then it's just a case of pointing your um, DNS towards CloudFilt's IP. It's going to give you an IP there. You just copy that there. And then just use your DNS um, provider. I've used Namecheap for this example on my domain. You just change those IP addresses to point over to CloudFilt's IP addresses, save those on, and you're pretty much good to go. The other thing you can do for your specific content management system, in my case, WordPress, is in the WordPress repo, you can search for CloudFilt and add a specific CloudFilt plugin here. That's going to give you all your metrics fed back to the CloudFilt dashboard so you can check that information out as well. So after installing and activating that one, it'll pass all the data back to the CloudField dashboard. You get to see all the bot detections on your CloudField dashboard here. So already I can see after only a few days, I had a couple scraping attempts, lots of bot um, on the websites and lots of spam submissions. This is something on WordPress that you get a lot of in your comments and um, user registrations and that kind of thing. So very useful for any WordPress website to have this level of protection. So overall, I'd recommend checking it out if you're interested. They do have that free tier, so you can uh, actually try it for free, no credit card needed. Also, I'll put the link to the AppSumo deal here where you can get that lifetime access as well, which I think is pretty solid value um, for what you get for the price there. 
So let me know what you think in the comments. Overall, I think for those of us looking to upgrade from Cloudflare's free plan, but don't really want another monthly subscription in our lives, this um, lifetime deal could be a pretty solid solution. So I'm going to keep testing it. Um, obviously, you can try this out or use that free tier as well to check it out. And let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.